<laughs> I'm Patty Ron. My name's Greg Justice. I'm Kara Rawlings, and I am in my third year teaching here. My name is Jerome Williams, and I'm a fifth year senior. I'm Jordan Goldston, and I'm a freshman. Uh, Sarah Wiley, and I'm a junior. And I have been here at Virginia Tech in the theater department before. So I've been with the department for 26 years. I've started my 27th year here. 24 years. I came in 1986. That's unbelievable. There are so many things about Virginia Tech that is uh, that are wonderful. I have always been incredibly impressed by the students that come here. Um, to come to study theater at a place called Virginia Tech already um, implies a, a huge amount of courage. We are a very student-centered department. The students decide, hey, I want to do this project. Cool, go do it. Can we help in some way? You're, you're only limited by your own creativity, by your own time um, and work ethic. We play hard and we work really hard here. Yes, the natural thing nervousness does. It's like, ah, not hold on, hold on. We're the largest theater department, theater and cinema department in the state of Virginia. Uh, 150 students and 18 faculty members. This year we have 44 first year theater students that have come into the department. Uh, I act with the students and I direct the students and I teach the students. So we are very close. We're all on a first name basis. And I truly love teaching and I love teaching at Virginia Tech. It's an incredible university. The students here are smart, they're bright, they're motivated. It's a difficult university to get into and it's and the students that come here are very bright. These people are so motivated. They have the drive to do what they want to do. Me personally, I'm honored to be with a group of people such as that because they keep me challenged. You know, I think I'm doing sufficient work, but then I see somebody who's always taking it a step higher, who's always going to the next level, and I'm like, you know, I can do that too. I didn't think I could, but I can't. It's, it is growth. If there's one, you know, we, we, in some ways we solve one problem to get on to another one. The first performance class that I took was P-Lab, performance lab class, and it was with Kara, um, and it was an amazing experience. We had to learn how to uh, engage our bodies physically and to listen to one another. Those were concepts that were finally put into practice and actually expected of us in class. I teach performance lab, intro to acting for non-majors, foundations of movement and voice. Co-teach that with Patty Ron. So she teaches the voice element, I teach the movement element. I also teach stage combat and uh, visor technique. I did take a stage combat class with her. We took uh, rapier and dagger. Uh, that was a very intense class. We were sweating, we were dying, we were crying. It was amazing. We, had, we were all in shape by the end of it. So now I can say I have training if I ever need to do a TV show or if I need to do any stage work or I myself want to start going into that aspect. Well, in the Zeffirelli version, in my viewing of the thing, the mother's worse to her than the daughter. In script analysis, I have that class with Bob McGrath. We look over the major texts, like Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, Stanislavski. We're gonna go to Shakespeare in Love soon. Everything. <laughs> so I think that's what's so interesting about comedy, is that it has that edge. With those plays, reading them in high school is one thing, but then when you get to the college level and you really start diving in, it's a whole different experience. Another really remarkable thing about this department is uh, the faculty. It's a very strange thing um, to be in Southwest Virginia, in the corner of Southwest Virginia, pretty far from any urban centers, and to find the extraordinary level of artistry in this faculty. It's a collaborative of true artists who are committed to students. That's a, it's a really unusual thing. <laughs> what is there not to say about the professors? Faculty here are close, 
there. We work very hard together. We all get along incredibly well together. We all work together so well. We're just, it's a very collaborative kind of um, feeling about this place and that's really, really rare. You know, it's just, it's all very informal and we're all adults. I've never had a time where I couldn't go into a professor's office and, and just talk, you know, not necessarily about classes or about, you know, what monologue to pick or things of that nature, just talking about life. The teachers have been really prolific about teaching it. You know, not, not just saying, go for it, see what you can do. They, they show you, they help you if you need it, and they leave you alone if you don't. It's, it's a very nice environment. All the professors here make time for their students because we genuinely love each other. To make someone do something or to keep someone from doing something, those are stronger objectives. I hate the all. Thanks. Theater to me is the production, the live event that happens between uh, the live audience and uh, the performers. Theater requires engagement. Uh, in order for it to be great, in order for it to be something and to be an event. It's about storytelling in its simplest uh, definition. And, and what we say isn't just a lot of blubber and it's not repetition. We are, we are constantly in flux, we are constantly moving in the direction of where the piece needs to go. You know, the journey of being an actor uh, is so much that goes into it. You have to be so persistent to, you know, get what you want. Theater making is in fact an act of faith. We say we're going to do a project and we believe that the people are going to show up to make that project work. First semester I was cast in Othello, which was directed by Bob McGrath, which is nice because I'm a freshman. This semester I was involved in, where I am currently involved in, Dark Play, which opens next week, April 8th, 9th, and 10th. Freshmen get cast in this department all the time. All auditions are open to everyone. Not only are freshmen cast, but freshmen get leads. To the incoming freshmen, put a good foot in the door. Get your feet wet as soon as you get in. You get involved from the very moment that you walk in. You can. Coming into the department at first is always scared and you know you're timid, but within the first few weeks you really realize that it's a family, it's really tight-knit and everyone's really friendly. Get involved now. Don't give up. You know, don't give up, don't quit, you know, just stay the course and just know in your heart that you can do it. That sense of competition just doesn't exist. It's about we will do our very best work when we support each other. The best play I've done will be the next one I'm doing. When things are not necessarily set because it's, it's a constant flow, it's almost like a dance. It's almost like magic. Of course, it's not magic, it's a lot of hard work. There is, There are all different fields that people can go and taste and try and see if it really turns them on. And when it does, you can fly. You can do whatever you want. The possibilities are everywhere. The sky is the limit. They just have to want to reach for it. And this is what I want, and there's no other place that I'd rather be. And Virginia Tech's helped me see that. Tech's the best school ever. Ah. <laughs>